Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 556 of Fallout 4. Last episode, just just this this this, this poor place. We've stolen everything. Sorry, Quentin. You don't need a new you don't need a new car. You don't need a lamp. You can just get over it. If I if I could steal the sheets that you were you were using, I'd take those too. <laughs> We've been clean sweeping the institute. It's great. We're just listening to everybody's conversations, learning about some shortages, and they're not as like this big bad enemy as I guess maybe we've been led to believe. I'm not gonna say they're good, but like they're lacking resources. They have their own problems. They're not almighty and things like that. You know, it's they, they've got their issues too. So that's pretty neat. It's pretty cool to know. Le oh, hey, I don't think I've seen you yet. Yes. I talked to Eve. She was the crazy robot synth. Been in quarters. Okay, so we've been in here, obviously, but I've not talked to this dude. Man, they're, they're like this all-knowing, all-seeing thing. They, they've got problems too. They're built on old tech and whatnot. Hey, dude. The coursers give me the creeps, you know? They seem, I don't know, cold. Dad says I'm as good as he is with computers. Okay. I'm trying to learn chess, but the computer always beats me. Hey there. Why can't a synth be a person too? I don't really see the difference. Because it didn't come out of a girl's vagina? I mean, it's it's a robot? Like, the, the, it's very, very simple. <laughs> it's, it's very simple. It's very, very simple. Okay, so I need to find where I'm dropping off my loot. And I have yet to... Systems, nominal. Shut up. I have yet to remember which division. I wish you could have known father as we have. Oh, don't. You know how condescending and like rude that is to say this? That's like, I wish you could have known your kid like I know your kid. It's like, that's kind of dickish to say. But yeah, I wish, wish I remembered which one, of, <laughs> which one of these divisions that I stored all my shit in. But I gotta go put my stuff away in the magic mirror in the bathroom. And then go finish up, I think, the last little pillar. So I was at Bioscience. And I looted the ground floor and up, but I don't know if I looted the, the next one over. Unusual synth behavior. Yeah, of course, this is not the right one either. I should have just gone the other way. I would have been there earlier. I can't see the signs out here, so I have no idea. It's red. Wasn't that robotics? Or is that synth retention? I don't remember. Is this the one that has a, this is the one that has the double doors. So are you the mysterious bathroom? Yes. You're the mysterious bathroom. So again, this mirror has so much stuff in it. It's kind of hilarious and also like disturbing. I mean, I put mops in here. I put sweepers, like dusters. I'm putting lamps in a mirror. Look how overweight I am right now. <laughs> My cauterizers and applicators. <laughs> Drinking glasses I have. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait to loot all the stuff and then leave this place. So like, just I'm just taking all- the, the preserved cigarette pack, see how much money that is right there? I have- what? You can pick up lit cigarettes? I didn't even notice that. I have a lit cigarette in my inventory. How does that work? Tons of junk, and then at this point I guess it'd be some clothing. Oh my god, yeah, tons of jumpers. That's that's quite a bit of weight right there. So we're almost 200 pounds underweight, but we're not. No, no I would bet, yep, any money that it's booze. We picked up quite a bit of booze being here. They, uh, they like to drink. So we're over 100 pounds underweight. Good stuff. Let's pop a save. So none of that uh, is lost. Uh, please don't squish anybody. Okay, I, I didn't hurt anybody. As long as I don't piss anybody off, we're good. So robotics, synth retention. No, I was at like... I don't want to go this way. I don't want to trigger any event. I was at bioscience. If I recall, it was the green one. So bioscience. Is this it? Okay, here we go. Bioscience. Uh, we did talk to the the commissary, the food court dude. We talked to that trader dude. I didn't go in those areas yet. Is this the one that I just hacked? No, this is the one with the back room. Okay, this is the cafeteria. So we went to advanced systems. Um, and then I hacked this thing. Yep, and I opened up that, and I I read the med bay terminal. And then from that point on, didn't I go up top here and I loot all the stuff? The doors are open. It means I looted it. The doors are open. It means I looted it. So I looted that. So we're on the synth retention. This might be my last little area that I need to loot before we can just start talking to everybody and seeing like about getting out of here and moving on from then. Is this? This is where I. For, okay, so okay, I think we've looped then. That's good. I think this is where father is above me, maybe. So at this point, I think there might be one area that I didn't loot. Um, I need to get out on the balcony. I think there might be one little area that I didn't loot, but beyond that, we're done. It's like just a set of bedrooms. 
So let's just check out here. Is there any doors that aren't open on the outside? Those doors are open. Those doors are open. That's father's room. Maybe I did hit it all up. I, at the very least, I hit up the vast majority of it, so I think we're finally done. It's been quite a task, quite a, quite a job, but I have officially looted mostly. Broken. You just can't go in there. Mostly everything. All right. So what I need to find out now is when I go to the double door room, which is this one, and this is where I have all my loot. What is this place? Don't don't hit anybody. So synth retention meets robotics. So synth retention and robotics. I gotta remember that. Synth retention and robotics. Let's go talk to anybody else that we haven't talked to. Come out in this area. So fancy looking. I know you'll achieve great things here. We all do. Hey there. Good to see you. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. We are honored to welcome you here. Can I go for a swim? Oh, I tried. <laughs> Didn't let me. Boop. Did I call the elevator down? Is it already down? I can't, I don't know. Oh, it calls the elevator up. I wonder where that goes. So, I guess that means I need to go to the back areas? Like these things, like advanced systems and, and all that. Alright, well, advanced systems here. Let's go to advanced systems if it'll let me. Oh, wow. It's its own instance, really? Not what I was expecting. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Hey there. Yeah? Yes? Oh, for goodness sake, I can't find my notes anywhere. Okay, he don't want to talk, clearly. Hey. Yes? She's pew pewing. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but well, really I prefer less that was productive. animated pursuits. <laughs> Rushed work is sloppy at best, and deadly at worst. Hi, Doc. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. How many rules are we talking about here? <laughs> Not nearly enough, if you ask me. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Uh, how big is this handbook? Just a few thousand pages, but <laughs> I like to think it's a brisk read. I certainly find it so. Take care, then. No, thank you. <laughs> Not doing that. Not even. Ooh, terminal. Okay, none of this is theft. Well, we'll go talk to her, but let's let's read terminals and things. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn. You access logs. Ormond R. Submitting research projects for approval. Ormond R. Updating diagnostic tools for his child synth project. Login IO redacted. Watson E. Rejection of project proposals. Research proposals. Human cybernetics. Build on existing institute research into implant slash cybernetics to augment human capabilities and lifespan. Previous program met with limited success on a single subject. Using a broader array of subjects and new techniques to prove highly effective. Approval. Rejected. Director. Notes. None given. So, he, Sean is definitely not uh, interested in that because I guess the whole Kellogg thing. Cold fusion. Divert time materials from current phase 3 research uh, to exploring the possibility of sustaining nuclear reactions through electrochemical processes at or near room temperatures. Pre-war work on the subject yielded no concrete results. Advances in technology could potentially make it possible. Approval. Rejected. Lee M. Notes. Evidence suggests this is, and always will be, a pipe dream. <laughs> Mini miniaturization? Oh baby. Modification to relay assembly allowing for extra parameters when rematerializing, specifically to explore recalibrating object size and density. Imagine if it were possible to use the relay to shrink someone down to the size of an insect or smaller. Approval. Rejected. Watson E. Let's keep things out of the realm of science fiction, please. Plasma weaponry. Proposal. Pre-war plasma weapons exist, albeit in a somewhat primitive state. Samples have been collected with work from a dedicated research team said weapons could be improved upon dramatically. Approval. Pending. Lee M. Notes. Something to consider after phase three is complete. So that's the only one that might be approved. Dr. Lee has been spending more and more time in her lab with the kid synth thing. It's creepy and I can't help but wonder if she's getting a little too attached. 
Evan has rejected my last 12 proposals. I don't know how to get through to that man at all. That's all that terminal had on it. Oh, that is a... Almost, it is almost like an eerie little texture, like, glitch. I don't know, it's like... At this point, you can't see through it, but... It's, it's like, literally no glass is there. That's strange. Alright, I don't want to go there. Let's stay in the main room first. Can't press any of the buttons. Just take your spanner. Don't mind if I do. More reading! A few access logs. Watson E. Reviewing re research proposals. Watson E. Rejecting research proposals. Remote login. Lee M. Reviewing synth progress updates. Watson E. Lo update findings on child synth development. Local login. Watson E. Submitting regulation updates to di directorate. Regulation updates. Submitted to directorate for approval. Ah, <sighs> this guy likes to talk a lot. <laughs> Review permissions for assigning solder arms to personnel. SRB recommends to increase security have overridden any normal procedures for allowing institute scientists to carry firearms. Training for said firearms also needs to be updated. Reconsider interdepartmental network access. Certain divisions appear to be abusing this. Security systems need to be reviewed by facilities division ASAP. Given recent events, it is, it is extremely important that the institute be prepared for any conceivable situation, no matter how unlikely. Dr. Io has requested this for some time, and I am now inclined to agree with him. And personal notes. I have in the last 24 hours observed no less than seven blatant violations of institute protocol. The degree to which people appear to ignore the rules which have been put in place to keep us all safe is, is incredibly disappointing. Madison insists that I, could, uh, I continue the testing battery with a child synth, despite my reservations about the project as a whole. If this were any other situation, I would, have, I would not have second thoughts about going straight to the director, but given the circumstances, I shall simply wait it out. That's all that that terminal has. You guys have a fountain in here? I'm kind of thirsty. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'm not, not there I need yet. To synthesize a few components. Any idea if the latest weapons run has finished yet? Just finished up an hour ago. So, yes. Finally. Talking to her through a wall. <laughs> Anything in here? Mm. Well, let's, go, let's go talk to this person first if we can. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Hey, Doc. Hmm? Oh. Hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Rosalind. It's really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. Sleep is such a waste of time. I'd rather be designing more efficient plasma emitters. If you ask me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Dr. Orman. That's all she wrote. Don't mind if I borrow this synth relay grenade. Hmm. What does that do? Well, those damage. One damage. Now, is that like... Is that like vertebrate signal grenade here kind of kind of deal? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Is that what that is? Like to teleport through the relay? Interesting. Mind if I borrow your stuff? You're, you're terrible with weapons. You're, you're, you're a bad shot. Look at look at that. You're a bad shot. I wonder if I do. Gimme gimme. Uh um um go, going down range. Don't 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 shoot. <laughs> weapons down. Weapons down. <laughs> Nothing in here at all. Just shut up shooting at a wall. Nice. So it doesn't look like they want me to go this way yet. I would wager that that's a no-no. But I have to at least auto-save and try. Okay, well, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I can no-clip through it, but I can't. Let's go in here. Loot some things and talk to the peoples. Sorry, man, you're gonna have to wait. You have sliding doors with a with a, with some loot in here. I'll borrow all of this. And you can have your bed. I don't want your stinky bed. Give me your tweezers. Give me your applicators. Ooh. This is day of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, well, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. 
It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are... are put off by his presence. <laughs> if I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Yeah, nobody, nobody likes weird robot baby. <laughs> nobody likes weird robot baby. Hello? Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Dr. Lee. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Dr. Lee, I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the Child Synth, to focus on Phase 3. I'm hoping that the above-ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. Dr. Lee. I have weight I can throw around. Woo! <laughs> but I don't believe we'll be able to go here. I bet that's for later. I haven't seen any way of getting past that just yet. So we're not even going to bother. But I guess every little area is going to have its own instance then. That's kind of what it looks like. All right, back to the Institute we go. Woo! <laughs> to hoard more things. Don't, don't tell anyone. I need to check my weight though. I might want to go drop some things off. So what is, it was robotics and that synth retention. That was the, that was the, uh, the midway point or whatever for where I'm dropping my crap off. It's said to be over here somewhere. So much and research. Systems. So little time. It's, it's red and black. Where, where are the, uh, the line colors here? We got red. Yes, yeah, right there, synth. Hello. So it'd be it'd be this area, if I am not mistaken. So I'll go up here, drop some things off, and we'll go to the next area. So we already went through advanced systems. Uh, I don't really have a preference for what else, you know, like the other divisions. So I'll just take them randomly. Why not? <laughs> Maybe whatever's closer. We're just trying to get our backstory here and figure out what is going the hell on. And I need to figure out how to leave the institute because I will be leaving with all of this junk, and it'll be glorious. Yeah, it doesn't look like I picked up too much stuff. All, in all honesty, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's good. All right, um, let's see. Just jump down here. Pray we don't squish somebody. Don't squish somebody. I, I, I squished somebody, did I? Like, there's that person walking up there. I thought I hit him. I heard them like stumble. So robotics. All right. All right, R robotics and advanced systems. Okay. So as long as it'll let me, you know, go to each area, we'll go to each area and hear what everybody has to say. It was probably just a glitch in the nervous system. You smell like you've been above ground. Fuck you. If it were just a limb twitching, perhaps. But her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what it is. If you're about to launch into one of your impassioned speeches about artificial sentience and machines with souls, don't feel like this project is I've been heard going enough on of them for months. 
Hell, I could write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines, so we can do what we want with them. If you disapprove of the work we do here, Dr. Benet, you know where to find the teleport. Now just a moment. I never said that. I'm simply trying to open everyone's eyes to new possibilities. Excuse me, well, I've got reports to it's deliver. It's an unwanted distraction. We're men of science, not philosophers. You do well to remember that. With our third generation synths, we've improved upon humanity. I knew it was Benet. Lovely day, isn't it? I knew it was Benet. Doctor. Ah, it's you. You're finally with us. I'd just like to apologize for any trouble our synths may have caused for you on your way here. They, of course, couldn't be told of your identity. And they have very specific protocols for protecting themselves and institute interests. Most of which I designed myself. Not to make problems for you, though. I, uh... Will you be staying with us, then? What's it to you? Oh, forgive me, I, I realize... Well, I understand that's somewhat personal. It would just mean a great deal to Sean. If you require anything, especially as it pertains to synths, please let me know. Excuse me, Doctor. Today is full of possibilities. Stay still! I don't know if you've noticed, but I've increased synth responsiveness by 0.04%. The synths are treating you well, I hope. We're quite fortunate to have the synths to aid us. Hey, Doc. Does this mean all the synths in the Commonwealth will stop giving me shit? <laughs> Child synth. It's just remarkable. Excuse me. Did I turn off the interferometer? I hear we're about you to get a new food else. supplement. She's way happy about that. Well, just father's legacy. The They're his gift to By humanity. Hi, Doc. You've arrived well at a aware momentous of your time. And there is Our a reason third generation synths are a true breakthrough. There needs the culmination of centuries of research. And them. It's no, no exaggeration to say that they're the superior in almost every way to human beings. If we only what makes them superior? The list of improvements is exhaustive. I can talk for an hour Otherwise, and still not cover all of it. Imagine what you could accomplish. If you could live without fear of hunger or disease, imagine what you could create. If you could spend every waking moment of your life as you saw fit, with no need of sleep, like I said, a momentous time. Max. All our divisions are important, but I tend to think of robotics as the first among equals. That's contradicting what you just if said. If you ask me. The synth software could use a little more debugging. With our third generation synths, okay, he's repeating we've dialogue. Improved upon you. Mine! Mine! Today is full of possible. Mine! <laughs> Mine! Mine! We'll read all these terminals in a little bit. Please. But seeing you in that power armor makes me think we should design some of our own. Yeah, buddy. Hi. Mankind redefined. It's catchy, isn't it? Father's a great man. You must be very proud. I can't imagine living on the surface. It sounds like a nightmare. We're Excuse quite me. fortunate to have the synths to aid us. <laughs> the surface is not all that bad. There's just giant bugs and things. Just just giant bugs and death balls and things trying to kill you. Hey there. I am pleased to assist with the processing of new synths. Processing? It's like, it's like a door, but can't use it. Robotics terminal. Again, I'll, I'll use all these terminals and read through all these things here in a little bit. I'm just trying to talk to everybody and steal the stuff. And we'll watch the creation of the synths here whenever they start over. I want to watch it from the get-go. Like from the very, very beginning. Just finish stealing all this stuff. So he's about to put that one in there, so that's... I bet Dr. Thompson would love to take that power armor apart. He no! Look at the inner workings. Oh, leave my power armor alone. Day, isn't it? Okay, so, where's the, the hand thingy? on just father's legacy. There is but. gift to humanity. I wanna watch this from the beginning. Welcome to the Institute. Please step right this way. Pointy. Mm-mm. <laughs> 
That is interesting at the very least. It's like scooching me around. How exactly is that working again? <laughs> well, I don't know about that one. That seems a little science fiction to me. <laughs> just, just a little bit. But it's fine. Welcome. Excuse me. Please Hello. proceed directly to processing. I'm new here. Yeah, you are. Hello. I'm new here. So what? Dr. Loken, uh, like, we received a work order from SRB. Why are they what producing so many? They're requesting many, replacement like, coursers well, I again. I don't really Quite get the few, purpose actually. yet. I guess they lost a whole unit. I don't, I don't know. Is this some sort of joke? This is the third time this month. Dr. We're quite fortunate to have so us. I refuse to give him any more. Should I tell him that? No, I'll have it. I wouldn't wish dealing with that man on my worst day. You're stabbing him, poor guy. Apparently, stabbing him in red. It's like breathing. I'm moving now. Today is full of possibilities. They're hurting for resources, but they're mass-producing synths. Like, what's the uh, what's the point? SRB is asking if we can prioritize the coarser musculature upgrades. I'm swamped right now. Can you accommodate? I and suddenly he has skin. Can I go swimming too? No, it won't let me go swimming in synth goo. Feels bad, man. Welcome. No synth goo for me. But it is time to wrap the episode up here, guys. I'm getting stuck on all like the, the, the things moving around. Time to wrap it up here, guys. Episode 556. We now know how synths are made, so that's pretty cool. Got some, some backstory on advanced systems and robotics. Uh, I got some terminals to read, maybe some more people to talk to. I have two other full sections to go hit up what is like the e what is the inside job i'm gonna halt david sturgis media division leader oh so my, that, that is my job is to just talk to everybody here that is the quest all right so i guess we'll continue that a little bit i i don't believe i need to complete this quest i believe i need to maybe do inside job i don't think i need to do institutionalized but we'll see again this is all just for dance but i mean while i'm here i figured i might as well get bored and clear some things but again wrap it up here guys episode 556 thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time